Inside an old bus depot in Adelaide, the brewing of beer has been revolutionised. In 2002, Coopers built a cogeneration plant to generate its own electricity and heat. We can run independently of the, um, the South Australian electricity grid, so if there are any problems, particularly during summer when you know you have line problems and overheating or, or demand problems, uh, we can just keep running independently through the cogen plant. Brewing beer requires a lot of energy. Heat is needed to change the barley into malts, to create and filter the mash, and to ferment the brew. So the cogeneration plant has the advantage of it gives us stable energy supply and stable steam supply, but also because of the design of the plant, our steam production is basically from waste energy, so it uses no f new gas to produce all of the steam requirements for the plant, so it significantly reduces our, our gas usage and therefore our environmental emissions from the site. By recycling heat, water and steam, Coopers has reduced its carbon footprint by more than 50% in eight years. At the same time, it's doubled its output, becoming the biggest homebrew beer maker in the world. The same cogeneration technology Coopers uses to brew beer can also harness excess heat generated from powering city lights, heating office buildings and powering air conditioning. The potential for reducing CO2 emissions is huge.